Right, uh, good morning class. That was the first part of the lesson. We were looking at uh, trigonometry. So uh, this will be a bit, uh, this lesson will be a bit shorter. And it's dealing with the new topic which is trigonometry. Okay. So trigonometry is now firstly introduced, or formally introduced in grade 10. It's a topic that goes all the way to grade 12. In grade 12, this topic is worth 50 marks. Okay. Which is nice. Because it's something new that you can now build on. With that in mind, that trigonometry is such an important thing. Whatever you don't understand in trigonometry, ask and I'll try and explain to you. Okay. Trigonometry is my second best after geometry. <laughs> okay. So let's see what they say about trigonometry. What is trigonometry? We are told that trigonometry is based on concepts of similar triangles and is used to solve triangles. Okay? You can use trigonometry to find unknown dimensions of a triangle. It's the lengths of sides, sides of, uh, sizes of angles and area. When we know one side and any other two dimensions, Okay, so that's basically what we need to calculate angles or sides of it. The word trigonometry comes from the Greek word, whatever that is. No. We don't need to know. Application of trigonometry. Right, since we are music school, there we go. Now, one of our music guys there in the, in the picture. Trigonometry is used in designing these pieces. Okay as well as in digital images, okay, imaging, and it's used in aircraft design and navigation. That is only about the few way trigonometry is actually used, okay, but trigonometry is vast, okay, it can be, as they say, yeah, it can be used in architecture and all of those things as well, okay, many, many cases trigonometry can be Okay. That's on page 101. Notation and terminology used in trigonometry. You will need to be familiar with these concepts. Similar triangles, we spoke in this about that in grade uh, 9. No? Then, uh, we didn't do similarity this year, no? not much, no, nothing. But we did a lot in grade 9. In grade 10, we, the, the concentration was on congruency more than similarity. But there's a last part that's going to be added, which is the midpoint theorem, okay, which is 10M. But we'll talk about that when we get there. The theorem of Pythagoras, that you know already. But the theorem of Pythagoras can only be done in right angle triangles, and as they noted, the right angle triangles. And fourthly, notation for sides of triangles, okay? So let's look at exercise 5.1. So we're going to run through this together quickly. Okay, so now we're looking at exercise 5.1 on page 102. We are told that triangle ABC and triangle PQR are right angle triangles. Can you all see its right angle triangles? Yes. Namely at angle D and angle P. We are told that angle theta, angle A is equal to theta. The first time you're seeing theta now? No. When did you see theta? Last year. Last year when we were doing geometry. Now, theta, no, 
Beta, Alpha, Beta, Omega, they are what we denote to unknown ends. Okay, like, like we have variables for when we're doing algebra, we got the x, y, z, k, and all of those things. Not so. Likewise, for angles, we have theta, alpha, beta, and omega, and so on. Okay. Like we have before, x plus x is 2x. Theta plus theta is 2 theta. Alpha times alpha is? Alpha squared. Not so. And y times y is y squared. So, alpha, beta, theta, omega is the same as we, we treat our variables, but they just denote those, um, those symbols more to angles. But if in that angle, if you, instead of theta, you got an x here, don't say no, the sum part be soft. It's just the same thing. Okay, you guys got it. So, um, that is your theta, beta, and so on. Then we're told that angle B is 90, AB is 4 centimeters, and AC is 5. In the second one, angle P is theta, angle Q is 90, PQ is 8, and PR is 10. So what can we say about these two triangles? Those two triangles are similar. They have a K factor or enlargement factor of 2. Can you see that, people? Because a 2 times 5 is 10 and 2 times 4 is 8. So whatever AC, A, um, BC is, QR will be double that. Okay, that's what makes it similar. Okay. It says use the theorem of Pythagoras and complete the statements above. About the triangles ABC and PQR. Okay. So I want you guys to complete this quickly in your books. So AC squared is equal to, so AC squared is equal to CB squared plus AB squared. Or four squared. No? But because they, they, they got AC, and AC was five. If they wanted you to write four, they would expect they would have written five. Not so. PR, PR squared is equal to? PQ squared plus QR squared. Right, you all okay with that? Right, let's look at the next question. In the next question, I ask you to calculate the lengths of sides BC and QR. Now you can do the substitution. Not so? Right, do the substitution. You solve those two quickly. You guys know what to do, no? Okay, it will be nice if you talk back to me, no? Okay, nice, nice. Do your thing.
Okay. Number two, A. So um, in that triangle, it's going to read uh, BC squared is equal to five squared minus four squared, which is twenty-five minus sixteen, which is nine. The square root of nine is you all get three. Huh? Right, let's look at the next one, QR. So that would be 10 squared equals QR squared plus 8 squared. Or I could have said QR squared is equal to 10 squared minus 8 squared. Not so? So that's going to give us 100 equals QR squared plus 64. Take it over. So QR squared is equal to 100 minus 64, which is? 36. The square root thereof is going to give you 16. Okay. Do you all understand, people? Yes, Any confusion? No. The next question complete the statement about the sum of the interior angles of a triangle. No. Complete that statement in number 3. Okay, so in any triangle PQR, angle P plus angle Q plus angle R will always be equal to 180. Why? Angles in the triangle, sum of triangles. You all okay with that? Nothing scary yet, no? All right. It's a nice topic, this. Keep on telling yourself that, not till you believe it. Right. Right. The angles in terms of theta. So answer that question for me quickly. You know, guys know what to do at least. Huh? No. So you say... Remember angle C. That's angle C here. Not so. So what do we say? Angle C plus theta plus equals 180. Then you make capital C or angle C the subject of the formula. Not the omen, the C. So angle C is equal to what? It's going to be it's angle C plus 90 plus theta is equal to 180, sum of triangles. So angle C is equal to 180 minus 90 minus theta, which is 90 minus theta. Not so? Yes. Go with R, let's see what you get for R.
will be what? Can it be? What is equal to? 90 minus 3. Not so. Let's carry on with our lives. Mission 5. Then this is complete triangle ABC, ABC, and triangle PQR. What do you notice about the angles? What do you notice about the angles? The angles are the same. Not so. What do you notice about the sides? The sides are in? Sorry? Proportion, not double. The sides are in? Proportion. Which means to say whatever you're multiplying the one side by multiply the other side by two. Not so? You get the corresponding side. See, what does this tell you about the triangles? The triangles are similar. Verstaan jylle? Still nothing out of the ordinary, ne? So let's look at number 6. Triangle XYZ is a right angle triangle with angle X equals theta, angle Y equals 90, XY is equal to 12, XZ is 15. Now it says use your answers from question 1 to question 5 to write the unknown sides and angles in terms of theta of triangle XYZ. So what's the first question they asked you? What's the first question they asked you? Go back to question one. What did it say here? Use the theorem of Pythagoras to complete the statement. Okay? So remember, just put in the, the signs that it's given here. X, Y is 12 millimeters. X, Z is 15 millimeters. So the first question was to apply the the, the right the, the sides in terms of Pythagoras. Do that quickly. So what do we have? We can say that xz squared is equal to xy squared plus zy squared yz squared. Not so. What does number two say? That's a question number two. Number two says calculate the length of the sides, the unknown side. So in this case we're calculating yz. Not so. Calculate yz quickly.
So this would be 15 squared equals 12 squared plus ZY squared. 15 squared is 2 to 5. 12 squared 144 equals ZY squared. I think that's 121. No. Huh? 81. Is equal to? ZY squared. The square root thereof? No. What does question 3 ask? Question 3 says complete the statement about the sum of the triangles. So do that for me quickly. Okay, so what do we get? x squared plus y squared plus z squared uh, x angle x plus angle y plus angle z equal to? Next. What does question 4 say? Right angle, the unknown angle, that does not mark, which in this case is z, in terms of theta. So do that quickly. So it's angle Z plus theta plus 90 equals 180. So angle Z is equal to 180 minus 90 minus theta, which is 90 minus theta. That's all. What's the fourth question? Uh, fifth question? Okay, that you can't answer because there's only one triangle. No. But if you take this and you compare it to the original triangle, okay? The original um, triangles that we have, you will see that. What do you notice about the angles? The angles are the same. What do you notice about the sides? If you go from 5 to 15, 4 to th 12, 3 to, to, to 9, what do you notice? You're multiplying it by 3. So the sides are in proportion. What do you know what this tells about the triangles? The triangles are similar. Okay, you guys understand? Right. Now we're looking at naming the sides of the triangle. Okay, that's basically bringing us to the end of the lesson. Tomorrow we'll start with this. Okay, so there's now homework for trigonometry. You see how nice trigonometry is? That, no, homework even. Okay, so what are you going to do this afternoon? Geometry. Finish your geometry. Okay, for Monday. People enjoy this every day. I'll send you that memo now, okay? Good morning, class.